to a wall or to a table or wherever it's mounted. We need the sizes of the holes and if there's a distance between the holes so we can know how far to drill the, these holes into our bench where you are connecting them. So typically here, this will indicate to us the hole on this angle where to add it in. This is from the top. These are the spaces for the bolt heads and even this indicates how deep the bolt will go in. So all of these will be seen as mounting dimensions as long as uh, as well as this one because that gives us an indication how high off this part I'll actually have that part to be mounted. Okay in terms of the function of this okay so this will also be a mounting dimension in terms of the function of this we'll look at what is the function here we have this mounted there's this small hook piece here at the bottom so any information related to that the size of the hook what can I actually hook to this component to use, so what is it used for? The gap between these two, so those 20, that 24 is also a functional um, dimension. And then the distance from the bottom of this to that center hole will count as a functional dimension. Okay, so this assembly um, is very good to exercise bearings as well as your castle nut. And it's recommendable that if any of these standard components are unfamiliar to you or you're not quite sure how they look, that you look at the, the standard component uh, tutorial. Remember here you can see that these aren't correctly drawn in on the memo, so just make sure that you look at the, the example that I've done, so rather look at the drawing that I've done to see how they look in terms of the circle and the center lines as well as at the top here the split pin, because you'll see on, on the memo the split pin is also not filled in where it needs to.